हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम एम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड सम सिनेरियो बेस्ड नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन we are going to discuss five or six scenario based network engineer interview question so if you are a network engineer or if you are planning to become a network engineer this video can help you a lot to grow your professional life today we are going to discuss some scenario based question and interviewer is also asking this type of question in interview okay so if you are planning to become a network engineer make sure you will watch this video till the end If you are a network engineer, this video can help you to, you know, troubleshoot your network in real time. So for both, this video is very helpful. So guys, without wasting our time, let's begin. So what I'm I'm going to show you first scenario. So this is a bot section here. You can see this is my scenario. In my scenario, you are able to see between my edge router, I have created one tunnel. Yes or no? Because this is my Edge router one, just wait, guys. This is my edge router one. This is my edge router two. So this is my actually private network. This is also my private network, and this is public network. Or uh, as you know, on public network, data will if data will flow on this link in uh, you know actual format, anyone can read your data. Yes. So I will forward all my private data. All my suppose this is site A, and this is site B. right from site a to site b whatever data will exchange i will exchange that data through tunnel okay so actually i have already configured nat over here actually pat on both router i have already configured tunnel okay and everything is working fine so let me show you these user are able to access internet as well and these user are able to ping this user as well right that means com connectivity between branch is also there connectivity between your private network and isp is also there okay so first of all let me show you that then i will you know show you the scenario scenario based question so here you can see question sir okay so later we will discuss question first of all let me make you familiar with this topology so here you can see pc1 PC one IP address is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one, and gateway is ten dot ten. Okay, so first of all, let me pick my gateway from PC one one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot ten. So you can see, guys, I am able to pick my default gateway. Now I will ping eight dot eight dot eight from this PC. Ping eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. so you can see i am able to access internet as well now i am going to ping the remote user so ip address of this computer is computer 3 is 192.168.20.1 and gateway is 20.10 first of all let me check connectivity from pc 3 to gateway and isp ping 192.168.20.10 so yes i am able to ping my gateway from site b as well let me ping internet from here Ping eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Okay, so connectivity is there. Yes or no? Now what I am going to do? Now I am going to ping remote user. This user from this PC. Okay, so let me check that also that my two private network are able to communicate with each other or not. So again, let me take you on PC and this time one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one. Yes, so you can see I am getting reply. That means. VPN is also working fine. Everything is fine here, right? Now hope scenario is clear to you guys. If scenario is clear, directly I will take you on the question paper. Okay, so here you can see between your edge router and public, you are running this network hundred dot one dot one dot zero slash thirty. Here you are running this network. Okay, and if you want to check routing table of router one, there will be one default route. So IP route static. so you are able to see one default route is configured over here yes or no so ip protocol let me check am i running any protocol over here yes i am running which protocol eagrp 100 and how many network i have advertised see tunnel interface and my lan okay so through eagrp through eagrp actually eagrp is working on tunnel interface only and we are using eagrp to share this prefixes to router 2 and this prefixes to router number 1 okay guys that's it 
all my private user are able to communicate with internet to my remote host okay everything is working fine now i am going to show you question directly so here first question is you can see what should be configured to avoid internet packet to not be to be not sent through the vpn tunnel guys question is what should be configured to avoid internet packet to be not sent on through the vpn tunnel so in the scenario this question is asking actually you know this is interview question interviewer can ask you this type of question and many time interviewer is asking okay so see what is question question is what configuration is required on router number 1 so that whenever this user will generate a traffic for internet that will not go through your vpn tunnel so definitely you will configure one default route over here right and default route 0.0.0.0, .0 and exit interface will be f0/0 right so exit interface is physical interface definitely router will not send traffic on tunnel interface it will forward traffic from physical interface from physical fast ethernet 0/0 so many people are you know configuring wrong default default route over here as well they are mentioning exit interface as tunnel interface okay so no guys whenever your user will generate traffic for internet that should be no no go through you know vpn tunnel okay so right answer of first question is it will be their configuration is required that configuration is default route with physical interface which is connected with internet isp router okay now question number 2 so hope first question is clear guys if you have any doubt you can let me know in comment section okay now question number 2 is what the packet what the packets which are sent to the internet encrypted by the vpn router okay will not what will the packet which are sent to the internet encrypted by router vpn router so see whenever this user will generate any traffic suppose from here i am pinging 8.8.8.8 so will this packet encrypted by vpn tunnel guys answer of this question is definitely no because if you will ping 8.8.8 .8 from here source ip will be 192.168.10.1 destination is 8.8.8 .8. when router will receive it it will check your routing table and in their routing table there is one default route with this interface as exit interface so it will forward from here so whatever traffic this router will forward on tunnel interface so only that traffic will be encrypted yes or no so no answer of this question is absolutely no whenever user will generate traffic for internet that will be not encrypted by vpn router okay so question 1 and question 2 is clear now we are going to discuss question number 3 guys question number 3 is also very simple what should be the destination ip address in the ip header okay what will be the destination ip address in the ip header when a packet is initiated from 192.168.10.12 192.168.20.1 when is it reached f0/0 of router 1 guys let me make you understand question question is asking if this user will generate any traffic for this user means source is 192.168.10.1 and destination is 192.168.20.1 okay this is your packet so what is question question is asking you that what will be the destination ip address on f0/0 of router 1 on this interface in the packet what will be the destination ip address so tell me guys what will be the destination ip address over here if you want to see it what you can do you can capture the link as well okay let me capture this link and let me show you so here i am going to capture okay same topology i have been you know uh, even g so here okay so let me capture f0/0 interface over here yes and now i am going to generate one traffic from 192.168.10.14 192.168.20.1 okay so guys okay now let me generate one traffic from pc number 1 because 192.168.10. not 10 20.1 okay see 
with the icmp traffic here it is let me are you able to see destination ip address guys what is destination ip address 101.1.1 and this source ip address destination ip address 101.1.1 so in the question it's asking for asking for the destination ip address in the ip header so here you can see destination ip address is 101.1.1.1 that means destination ip address will be the tunnel destination ip address yes or no tunnel destination ip address so here whatever ip address you are running on this interface because this is tunnel destination tunnel ip address for router number 1 so when actually you will generate traffic from here source will be 10.1 and destination will be so actually what i am saying when you will generate traffic from here for this pc source will be 192.168.10.1 and destination will be 192.168.20.1 at this machine yes or no when it will forward it to router number 1 router 1 number 1 will check their routing table right because destination is 20.1 and see guys in the routing table of router 1 there is one entry for this network so ip root see here 192.168.20.1 exit interface is what tunnel 1 and whenever exit interface will be tunnel 1 it will add one extra gre header yes or no it will add one extra gre header with this actual packet in that header source will be tunnel source ip address that will be this one 100.1.1.1 and destination will be 101.1.1.1 okay so this is solution of you know a third question so if interview will ask you this question what will be your answer remote public ip address will be the destination or you can say tunnel destination ip address will be uh, the ip address in the destination ip field of ip header at router 1f0/0 interface okay guys now let me move to next next question question number 4 so question number 4 is what would be the destination ip address in the ip header when packet is initiated from 192.168.10.1 same to this this 20.1 when it reached uh, reached 192.168.20.1 okay when your packet will reach on pc number 3 right this ip address what will be the destination ip address so here in topology this question is asking that what will be the destination ip address over here on router on pc number 3 so again guys when router 2 will receive the packet it will remove gre header and inside the header inside the actual ip header there is this one as a source ip address and this ip address as a destination ip address yes or no so destination ip address will be 192.168.20.1 at pc 3 okay so destination ip address on router number 1 will be different and destination ip address on pc number 3 will be different yes or no so make sure you are getting my point what i am saying right if you have guys any problem you let me know or you know from first of april we are going to start a live ccna batch for weekend so if you don't have time to manage you know classes in weekdays you can enroll yourself for weekend batch there we will learn everything okay so if you guys not able to understand this question you should enroll yourself okay now question number 5 is should the public ip address which is configured on router 1 f0/0 and router 2 f1/0 be on the same network no definitely no see what is saying the ip address which you are running on the public interface of router 1 and the ip address which is which you are running on public interface of router 2 will be in same subnet no guys see here you can see this is subnet for router 1 and isp this is subnet for router 2 and isp subnet can be same also subnet can be different also yes it is responsibility of isp to make reachability between this ip address why what ip address you are running over here and what ip address you are running over here right so this is responsibility of isp so there should be connectivity between these two ip address okay so yes you can say 
the both both will be not in same subnet okay guys now next question both network will both network will be in different subnet last question is if a packet sniper is used on the vpn tunnel can be inner ip header be viewed guys if on a tunnel interface if you will you know capture the packet will inner ip header viewed so this is your homework let me know the answer in comment okay so what what is the right answer of this question okay guys so that's all for today if you like this video if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel guys please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye